hello guys and welcome back to my channel it's good to have you guys back here today if you're new to my channel you're highly welcome if you're not new if you're an oldie goodie you are highly welcome so today which is world hypertensive day well not today that i'm filming the video but when this video is going to be up that is when as you're watching it right now today is the world hypertensive day which is the 17th of may so in honor of this day i decided to make this video i've done a video like this before in the past i think last year if you have not seen that video i'm going to leave a link in the description box and also up here somewhere so you can go check that out after this video not right now but yeah if you've not subscribed to my channel i don't know what you're waiting for please do hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell when it pops up so you can get notified when i have new videos and post awesome content like this on my channel give this video a thumbs up if it will be helpful to you as you keep watching do comment down below yes guys your comments are really important to me because they help me know how you feel about my videos if you like my videos you think my videos are crappy do tell me i really do want to know and i want to know what i should be improving on i'm open to criticism constructive criticism that is so yeah um and if you have not seen my previous video i'm going to leave it linked in the description box and also here so that you can go check them out after this video so let's get right into the video so since this is a get ready with me video and permit me to put back my hair so that i don't you guys forgive me because i'm going to be looking this way my mirror is here so guys i did my brows off camera to make this video a little bit quicker because brows take time so okay um i'll start by saying let's let's just do the basic basically basic basically well we have the heart which is the pumping organ of the body it receives blood from your it receives the oxygenated blood from your system sends it to the lung for oxygenation send it back the lung sends it back to the heart the heart sends it back to the organs of your body that need it for energy because your blood carries nutrients it carries um oxygen and it does it transports a whole lot of things so the heart helps it move the heart it pumps it away from the heart to the system basically that's what i'm trying to say so it sends it through the arteries the arteries are the blood vessels that take blood away from the heart towards the systems like your muscles your stomach yeah your stomach your um liver your brain etc so the arteries take them to the your system away from your heart but your veins take them back to your heart so that's from the system and they take the oxygenated blood the arteries take and take it to the system because the system needs it. So now, blood pressure basically is the pressure that the blood um, exerts on the heart. I know that a lot of people who subscribe to my channel are not all medical students. So I'm going to try and break some words down as easy as I can. So blood pressure basically is the pressure that the blood exerts on the artery. That is the vessel that takes the blood away from the heart. So that is blood pressure. Anytime you hear blood pressure, they are mostly talking about like arterial blood pressure. Okay, so um, this blood pressure can be low, it can be high, it can be normal. That is hypotensive, hypertensive, or normotensive. So it can be any of these things. And when it's high, it's called hypertension. So if your blood pressure is high, you're hypertensive. The normal blood pressure, okay, okay, there are two pressures of like important, of great importance. That is the diastolic blood pressure and the systolic blood pressure. So, guys, while recording, after recording, I found out that I had lost my audio, so it's going to be voiceover from here now. So, what I was trying to say here is that diastole basically is the pressure, diastolic blood pressure is basically the pressure at diastole and that's the pressure when the heart is at rest while the systolic blood pressure is the pressure at systole when the heart is contracting at its maximum so it's at maximal con 
maximum contraction. So, um, there are two pressures of importance, as I said, the systolic pressure and the diastolic pressure. And there are also two sounds of importance. The first sound you hear when you take, when you start taking your record, your record, your record. <laughs> when you start recording, the first sound you hear is your systolic blood pressure. Then the last sound you hear is your diastolic blood pressure. Okay, if that makes sense. I am going to demonstrate how to take blood pressure right after somewhere, somewhere down at the end of this video. Okay, so keep watching. So there are a lot of factors you need to consider when checking the blood pressure and one of the factors you need to consider is that you should not take your own blood pressure okay it's not advisable to check your blood pressure by yourself because you could get false either a false negative or a false positive result so first of all someone needs to check your blood pressure and if you're the one checking the blood pressure there are a lot of things you need to consider like has the person been talking a lot for instance if you were to take my blood pressure right now either in this video or right now as i am talking to you you might get a false positive or a false negative result mostly a false positive because i've been talking and somehow i have been restless so you want your patient your mom your dad whoever it is to be calm to be resting to not have stress no stress at all okay no stress you want to make sure that the person is not um have not smoked that day or at the time you want to check the blood pressure um the alcohol level is important has the person had caffeine or any um caffeine containing products these are all important things the person just waking up from sleep like there are a lot of factors to consider. I can't say for sure when, what time is right to take the blood pressure or what time is not. But these factors are very important to consider when taking blood pressure, okay? So there are a few complications of hypertension and most of the organs affected. The major organs affected is the brain, the heart itself and the kidney are the major organ affected by hypertension the kidney is actually a double edged sword how do you say that the kidney can complications with the kidney can cause hypertension and hypertension can cause complications in the kidney it's crazy right yeah so for the brain there could be um stroke okay you know the brain is a very needy organ it needs oxygen to survive and anything that impair the free flow of oxygen into the brain can lead to some encephalopathies that's why you have um hypertensive enke encephalopathies not you oh why do i keep saying you not you like you the listener no i mean anybody that has hypertension so for the heart there could be hypertensive um cardiopathies like left ventricular hypertrophy and this is because of compensation the heart is trying to compensate for the increase in pressure so there are a lot of diseases that we term the disease of old age and the disease that affect the elderly but should be told young ones are being affected by a lot of these kind of diseases air quotes okay so young ones are still um prone to hypertension especially when it is hereditary so it's not just a thing of the old so if you're 30 and above obviously you should be you should know your numbers please you should know your numbers but that doesn't exempt um the teenage ones from having hypertension normally they present with pre-hypertension when that's when you have like your systole between 120 and 139 and your diastole between um 89 and 99 so that's pre-hypertension and it's just at times it's really heavy the tree has to do with maybe the cholesterol level obesity and all of that so it is very important that both the young and the old know their numbers 
so guys let's classify hypertension hypertension can be classified based on etiology that is the cause and can also be classified based on severity based on etiology is classified into two which is the primary and the secondary the primary is also called um, the essential hypertension and it's also known as idiopathic because it has no known um, course okay just some um, assumptions here there like genetic and all of that while the secondary is like acquired from maybe systemic um issues like take for example um hormonal imbalance and disorders especially with the um adrenal hormones like aldosterone any um anything that would cause an increase in aldosterone would increase blood volume Will cause first of all cause reten fluid retention and then increase blood volume and then you know increase the blood pressure which is which can lead to hypertension okay so that is for the secondary you could have renal causes you could have um, endocrine causes you could have neural causes drug and toxin even pregnancy could be a cause of hypertension okay and this is on that secondary causes of hypertension then based on um, severity it could either be benign or malignant benign is like the mild one that can you want to you want to catch something most times when they are benign because they are not so severe and not so serious and they can easily be salvaged so the malignant basically is also called the accelerated because the benign um hypertension can accelerate to the malignant form if it is not treated if it is not cost cut on time you know it can easily accelerate and the malignant uh, hypertension has some characteristics like you could have the um, dpp dpp simply means diastolic blood pressure you can have diastolic blood pressure greater than 120 uh, millimeter mercury okay you can have eye changes there could be renal impairment and associated um, hypertensive encephalopathy okay so guys i went ahead and did applied my lashes and did my wings of the camera just so this video would not be long okay so forgive me for that now let's speed up this makeup this is a the final look so now we can continue with our discussion so i was saying that why do you need to uh, check your parents because it's important if you love them you need to check their blood pressure so i have the equipment for checking blood pressure here so i'm going to tell you the name of the equipment <laughs> so first of all this is a thing okay this is not a thing but it's a bag for holding the seat and um, this is the portable swing manometer and it's quite inexpensive if you ask me I think I got it for um, I know it was not up to 3k or it was 5 at most but it was not like so expensive so yeah this is it this is the cost that goes around the arm. This is the pump. Just pump it and this.
this is it, it causes more pressure on the arm then this is the meter like this is where you meet from okay to your status your status you use this to listen for the sound so this goes sorry so this goes in your ear so him this has to be a stethoscope actually you see when you hold a stethoscope there it's always facing somewhere so make sure that it's facing like when it's in front of you it's facing the way your nose is pointing like this like it's facing this way that's what i'm trying to say so that when you wear it that's the right way not this way let it not face you you get let it face away from you so don't ask me how i knew <laughs> i just knew i told you i've been checking blood pressure since 2012. yes guys i have been checking blood pressure since 2012. i think when i was in this is one i've been helping my parents yeah so this goes on the arm let me just adjust my setup you're not supposed to check blood pressure for yourself but i'm going to use myself as an example so this goes here it permits me to use my right arm my right arm my right arm because it's easier to hide it here so You don't go above the systole because you don't want to bust the person. Actually, you don't want the person's eyes to just come out. Maybe I don't know if person eyes will come out, but yeah. Then I'm going to listen. So I'm going to tell you my blood pressure basically. Then you want to loosen this up slightly. So I'm going to. Okay, I started hearing it and I started hearing it at 110. Uh, okay, 110. So I'm going to keep increasing, decreasing. Can you see it? Okay. So I have an idea of my blood pressure now. So my blood pressure is oh, this kill me. I might have this might actually be a false positive result, but it is let me just adjust my setup so you can see me. This might have actually been a false positive result, but my blood pressure is normal. Yeah, because I kind of left that for a long time. You don't want to leave your patient, your mom, whoever it is a lot of pain for a long time unless you're going to use ischemia okay so my blood pressure is my systole is 110 and my diastole is 80 so it's normal i think <laughs> Nobody is normal so yeah that is basically okay i talked about the palpatry method let me explain a bit about that the palpatry method basically helps you gives you an idea of your the systole but you're supposed to do the palpatry method first before you do the 
okay so yeah guys this is the end of the video i hope this was helpful to you okay first of all before i end the video this i told you this i got this for i think three five i'm not sure but it's not more than three five i think and it's like portable you can take it anywhere you want to go and all of that it can be your house every household you have these two i know most people have the automated one because well no one is there to help them check it that is better than having none but this is actually the best way to check your blood pressure in the hospital you don't see automated speak you see this one another one that looks like a countdown time very big that's the one you see or you see the one that has it's like one of those so yeah this is very inexpensive you can i know a stethoscope is that like i'm not a doctor why am i getting a stethoscope you need it to check your blood pressure so a stethoscope is pretty uh, i don't want to say inexpensive because all fingers are not equal but you really do need it you can get this for less than ten thousand naira. trust me less than I dare to say less than 8,000 naira. Yes, this two. And I think it's a good investment, especially in households that have like elderly. If you want your parents, your elderly, your grandma to stay with you for a longer time, help them know their numbers. Knowing your number is very important. Even you, as a young adult, it's important to know your number. As I said before, um, a lot of disease that we term elderly are now affecting the younger ones. So it's very important that we know our numbers and that we're educated on this thing. We're not just ignorant about them. So yeah, since today is World Hypertensive Day, why don't you check your parents' BP? Especially now that in this particular period of time, whether it's Corona, everybody's scared of going to the hospital because they don't want to contract this on the hospital. This is an, a good time to get um, your fig and your stethoscope. Because I know pharmaceutical companies and medical companies are still working because of the medical emergency. So it's a good time to invest in these so that you can know your numbers at home, right at the comfort of your home. Because I know that everybody really don't have time to go to the hospital every time to know their numbers. So yeah guys, it's important that you know your number. So guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you learned something from this video. Because that is, I just want us to have that awareness and consciousness that we need to help our elderly and help ourselves know our number because it is really important. So yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, do leave your comment down below. I really want to see your comments, guys. I'm so sorry that this video is long. I tried my best to make it as short as possible. But yeah, guys, don't forget to click the subscribe button down there and click the notification bell that pops up when you subscribe. And also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Now, there are two things that will let me know how you feel about my videos. One is your likes and the other is your comments. Yes, guys, I really, your comments really mean a lot to me. So help me comment. I really want to know how you think about this video. And I said, when I started the video that I had, I had a special announcement. Now here is the announcement. Um, I have done videos like this previously in the past. I've done a video, not videos. I've done a video like this previously in the past. And the video did really well. I've, this has always been part of my YouTube channel, like health talk, med talks and all of that. But I have never really had the time to sit down and chat. But since it's quarantine, I decided to bring it back. It's one of the playlists on my channel. I'll leave it linked down below here so you guys can check out the previous video that i did so my um announcement is that this is going to be a regular thing on my channel so if you see stuff like this do not be alarmed and another thing i would like to give a disclaimer here i am not your primary health care physician so i tried as much as possible to not really go in depth into talking about the hypertension i just tried to give us a little bit of orientation and why you need to know your numbers and why it is so important especially helping our parents because i know they don't have the time to do that so yeah i'm not your family health physician if you want to get more information on hypertension do visit a doctor do visit your doctor they are in a more better position more better. they're in a better position 
to um, give you the information and that you require. So yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. I'll see you in my next one. I love you as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, share the video to your friends. Don't be stingy. Share it to your mother, father, uncle, auntie, brothers. And I'll see you in my next one. I love you as always. Bye.